Hi everyone, uh, in this video I want to highlight um, the issue of battery degradation on the lithium battery in the Texan 990. Well, I have an external battery charger and it measures the internal resistance and it also shows the charge and discharge voltage. So I noticed when I put the battery on the charger the internal resistance had gone from about 75 to about 110 milliohms. And that's a clear indication of battery degradation. Um, so that's around a 15% loss of capacity in three, three and a half weeks, which I think is uh, astonishing. Um, the, the battery charger, when I charge it, it does um, a test cycle. So it discharges and then it charges up and it'll report the milliamp hours available in the battery. And when it was new, it was spot on. It was reading 2600 milliamp hours, which was the exact spec written on the battery on the 18650 cell. Um, but it was reporting 2200 milliamp hours. So it's about a 400 milliamp hour loss or around 15% of my maths is right. So um, that is an area of great concern. And I don't like lithium batteries in these devices. Um... The, the new Sea engine, of course, uses the four triple A's, uh, your normal nickel metal hydride. And I've had batteries for years that are still reasonably good, but I don't think this battery would last terribly long. You will lose capacity gradually, but 15% in three and a half weeks is a lot. Um, unfortunately, I didn't measure the voltage when I put it into the charger to see how low it was. But I have a feeling um, Texan may allow the battery voltage to go too low because lithium cells do not like to be um, fully discharged or at a low state of charge or very high state of charge for long periods of time. And if you look here, you have three bars. I would recommend charging the radio when it becomes a, a minimum of the last bar. On the last couple of occasions, I have taken the battery out and charged it when it was zero when there was no black bar shown here. So you have the top, middle and bottom. Even better, once it reaches halfway, just stick it in and charge it up again. Um, I mean, if you don't need to use the battery, all of the capacity, then don't, and it will greatly prolong the life of your battery. But it would be interesting to know how low Texan allowed the lithium battery to go in this radio. But um, I certainly wouldn't be running it down any more than the last quarter. And I would be charging it up from halfway if you can. If you don't need the um if you don't need all of the battery capacity, then charge it up. Um very concerning. Um now I did get two batteries with the radio, so I'll monitor the other radio. And um what I might do is I might let it discharge and see what voltage it should go down to. It should not it really shouldn't go below 3.6, 3.5 volts at the absolute minimum, but sometimes these batteries are allowed to go down to 3.2 volts per cell, which I think is, is too low. Um, you know, they're not like electric cars or electric bikes where you have a proper ba battery management system. Um, and these battery management systems are programmed to leave a buffer in the lithium cell in the top and in the bottom. So you're keeping the battery more in the sweet part of the uh, the charge. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a concern, you know, lithium batteries are great, but, um, they require a lot of babying, a lot of care that nickel metal hydride batteries just have, they don't care about being, uh, fully discharged. I mean, you can do pretty much what you want with them within reason. The biggest mistake I think people make with nickel metal hydride batteries is getting quick chargers, um, cheap battery chargers or timer only chargers. And they can destroy your cells within six months. Um, but a proper a pop, proper battery charger. Um, not one that's five, ten, ten euros or whatever you want to call it. So uh, that's this video for now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you noticed any issues with battery degradation? Have you managed or have you monitored it? And if so, let me know in the comments. But if not, um, it's something to... Um, to definitely watch because you're probably not going to notice it until such time as you will um you will you will you'll probably figure out hey, this battery is not lasting nearly as long as it did when it was new so um in order to keep that battery um 
to make it last as long as possible don't let it run down fully not in this radio anyway so um yeah um another video coming soon of the uh this engine so stay tuned bye for now